Hi Kinders! I'm back again with a story for us to read together and I chose this one because we've had so many bright sunshiny days and because of all that sunshine I've been wearing my sunglasses more. So I thought maybe I would choose this one which is called Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses. And this story is written by Kimberly and James Dean and illustrated by James Dean. So grab your sunglasses and let's get started with our story. Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses. Pete the cat did not feel happy. Pete had never, ever, ever, ever been grumpy before. Pete had the blue cat blues. I can tell he does not look very happy. Then, as if things were not bad enough, along came Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy today. He said, these cool blue magic sunglasses make the blues go away. They help you see things in a whole new way. You can see him passing his sunglasses over to Pete the cat. Pete put on the cool blue magic sunglasses. He looked all around. Right on! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Pete thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses. He went on his way and soon he saw Squirrel. Squirrel did not look happy. Pete said, what's wrong Squirrel? I'm so mad. Nothing is going my way. I only found one acorn today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Squirrel put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Awesome! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. how those sunglasses are helping. Pete said goodbye to Squirrel and continued on his way. Soon he saw his friend Turtle. Turtle did not look happy. What's wrong, Turtle? Pete asked. I'm so frustrated. Nothing is going my way. I am all upside down today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Do you think they'll help Turtle? Turtle put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Far out! These birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Hmm, these sunglasses have helped out turtle now too. Pete kept rolling along until he saw alligator. 
Alligator did not look happy. What's wrong, Alligator? Pete asked. I'm so sad. Nothing is going my way. No one wants to play with me today. What do you think he'll do next? Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Do you think they'll help Alligator too? Alligator put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Rockin'. The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. So do you think these sunglasses really are magic? Pete was rolling along and feeling all right when suddenly he fell back. The cool blue magic sunglasses went crack. Uh-oh, Pete didn't know what to do without those sunglasses. See in the bottom circle he's falling. Oh, and you can see his sunglasses are cracked. And who's up above him? Just then, Pete looked up at the tree. Wise old owl said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to see things in a new way. Just remember to look for the good in every day. Pete looked around without his sunglasses. Too cool. The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining. We're feeling all right. Look at all of his friends. Do they look troubled anymore? So what do you think the message in this story is? Do you think this story could be trying to teach us something? I want you to think about that and talk about your answer with somebody at home. I hope you enjoyed our story today and I hope you're all doing well. I miss you. Bye.